five in the morning. And I'm being very quiet, trying not to wake up the missus. I've already had a coffee, been up for 45 minutes, slept for about three hours, and it's meant to be foggy. It's not foggy here, it's meant to be. The location I've picked to go and check out is about six miles away. I'm about to head out of the house now, go down there and see what it's all about. I'll get there for about 5 a.m., which is about 40 minutes before sunrise. And this is on a Saturday, the life of a landscape photographer who also has an actual day job. It's not easy. I'm going to be tired later watching the football. Beautiful sound. I have made it to Boreham Wood, about 10 miles from my house. Can't see me because it's very dark. Maybe if I face that way. There's a tiny bit of fog here. I've never been here before, never explored the place, don't have any compositions planned up, nothing planned. But that's because I don't have the time. I work five days a week. And then the one morning where it might be foggy, well, I think I'll finally get out. Saturday, I've had three hours sleep after a whole week of work. And all I want to do is go and take some photos. If I'm going abroad, I do a lot of planning. But this is just a Saturday morning next to my house. And I just want to enjoy my photography. Maybe I'll find a composition. Maybe it'll get even foggier. Who knows? Oh, it's much better here, outside of the tree cover. You can see me now. But the moral of the story is, just get out and enjoy yourself with your photography. Take your camera, go for a walk. Get up early. Enjoy the bird song and a coffee. Fail to prepare is to prepare to fail. And usually I would agree with that because I employ that in my professional life. And I also do my landscape photography when I'm going abroad, like I said. But where's the fun in just exploring? Going out somewhere where you've never been before. Have a look for something. Even if it is at a time where, at sunrise, for me at least, it's quite difficult to get to because it is pre 9am and usually I'm not awake by that point. So sunrise has been and gone. Sun rose about half an hour ago, and I've just been wandering through the woods, trying to find some nice photos. I was hoping for fog. I thought there was gonna be thick fog, as it said, from midnight until 10 in the morning, fog. Not so much, unfortunately. So I have parked camp here, and just stopped a second because I've got heavyweight thermals on, and unfortunately, that means I'm very hot. I've dressed appropriately for winter and it's definitely not winter anymore. But I found this lovely field. Let me just head over to it. With a tiny little pond in. I'll flip you around. And I've taken a bunch of photos in there. That field is like a, like a bog. So there's lots and lots of water in there. And just as the world is starting to heat up a bit, it's creating this little mist in the distance. So I have to use a slightly longer focal length to make it look nice and foggy. Um, and especially around this little pond on the left here, you can see the fog just lifting and those silver birch trees. Silver birch trees have been trees I've been looking for for a while actually, to try and photograph. So hopefully I've got a couple of nice ones as the sun has risen behind where you're currently looking. However, onwards we go. Just cool off for a couple of minutes and see if I can find any bluebells or the first signs of bluebells or any uh, wild garlic maybe. 
I think wild garlic does grow here, I don't know where. So it's just going to be a case of exploring, seeing what I find, making a mental note of it for next time, and hopefully don't get lost. The sun is now threatening to come out, finally. About half six now, it's probably an hour after sunrise. And I'm at the other end of this field. What I want is a bit of backlighting on these trees with the mist separating them a little. Fingers crossed, that works. But it's a beautiful scene. and I'm gonna take some photos. Well, it's been eventful this morning. After I left that beautiful field, I got some sun rays coming in, went down low into the bog, got some bokeh, and had a little bit of a wander around. Found another nice area where there was some pink pine trees, sun coming through. It's about 8.40 now, three hours after sunrise, so people are coming with their dogs, and it's about time that uh, I go back home because the sun's properly up now. I also put up the drone, got some B-roll, took a couple of photos, crashed the drone, smashed the gimbal off. So that's gonna need to be fixed. And then I finished off putting the long lens on, chasing a deer around the woods, little baby, little baby deer. Uh, no wild garlic yet though, but the signs of bluebells, the first signs of bluebells. So. Might be a few weeks yet and I'll come back down. But, all in all, a good morning. I'm gonna show you some of the photos, including some abstracts of some silver birch that I found. I've been trying to find silver birch for a while and there's plenty in this forest, so. Back to the computer. That's all for this video, and as always, a like and subscribe may help me take some ad revenue away from Google, so I can spend it on replacing lens caps I've lost. In the meantime, catch me on Instagram, and as always, happy snapping.